guys, I'm Captain Duck, and this is episode 6 of my Poor Fortress video tutorial, or part 6 even. Uh, as I said, I made this little pattern last time, and the dwarves are taking it out. Also, my farms are doing great, so there's some other stuff too. Anyway, as you can see here, the planters are working. Lara Cloud Strive, Cloud Strive and Lara Croft, and they've actually produced a lot of stuff already. This purple stuff over here is, uh, yeah, annoying. This is miasma. Miasma is basically something rotting. So something has rotten over there. Some some animal probably has died, killed by my cat. Some type of vermin that's stinking and yeah, and because of that, it's rotting and it's leaving a terrible odor. And uh, I found some tiger iron. Great. And. That leaves the purple clouds. Those purple clouds uh, won't do anything bad, but it will disgust your dwarves. And they won't. They will become unhappy because of it. Uh, it's not really a big problem at the moment, but later on in the game, having unhappy dwarves could be uh, could kill you. It could destroy the fortress. So be careful with it. Um, for now, uh, let's go on with the show. To, uh, so last time we made uh, farms and made beds. Let's do actually do stuff with the stone we've all mined out here. This yellow stuff is uh, limonite, by the way. <laughs> limonite stuff. And uh, there's quite a lot of it, which will be nice later. Also, I found some tiger iron. That's uh, some type of a gem. And uh, sardonyx, another type of a gem. You can uh, see what it is by the type of icon it is. This. Yeah, this type of icon, no, don't know what to call it, is a gem icon. This is an ore icon, like iron or copper or tin, lead, stuff like that. And these things are just plain rocks. Now, let's actually do something with rocks. If you press B and W for workshops, we have an option for a mason's workshop. Well, let's build some. I'd like to build some more ways uh, in the corner over here. It's not still done yet, but this will do. And now we have a ton of materials to choose from. Uh, there's, we have a ton of total might, as you can see we have ni over 99 or actually over 99 units of total might. That's these white rocks. So let's build it from that, because we have more than enough. And I'm building another Mason's workshop to make things faster. Now, unpause the game. And soon enough my mason will actually show up. Yes, there he is. It's Solid Snake, the mason. He's clearing uh, the space. And he's making a mason's workshop, and he's done. If press Q, just like with the carpenter's shop, I can actually use it. Um, and I'll use the shop to create some some tables. I want to make a little dining room for dwarves so, can eat, so they can eat in peace. Um, so, T for table, and I'm adding 10 tables at once, and now he'll start creating 10 tables. Uh, you'll need to place a dumpty item, there's only a little furniture stock here outside. So, let's give him a lot of uh, stockpile for furniture, because tables of furniture of course. Pressing U, and I'll create this area as a little uh, furniture stockyard. Here next to this the big area, I want to be a stone stockyard. Be careful with stone stockyard because it will create a lot of jobs. But the masons, you want uh, at least one small or semi-large. Yeah, this is too big. There. I've made with I've deleted some of the stock parts. Uh, stock pile X. Remove the X designation. And you can remove it. Now, from here to here is the stone stockpile. Now all the dwarves uh, will find stones and place them on the stone stockpile. As I was going to say, be careful with that. Oh, it's summer. Also, I turned all the saving on, so it'll save automatically, which is quite handy sometimes. Um, you should look it up in the Eni. Um, there's a guide for it on the internet. Anyway, as you can see, the dwarves are filling the stockpile outside, with, uh, over here with furniture. And the dwarves actually created some stone tables, dolomite tables. Um, now we have a, 
the furniture stockpile inside. Well, that's really my bone for that. Um, I want the dwarf to be done with the tables and actually make some chairs. Um, I'll do that off video. So to make chairs is the same thing as a table. Go to the, the mason shops, press A, and press uh, C for a throne. Throne sounds splendid, but it's just a stone, stone seat, stone, um, stone chair basically. So I'm going to let this guy build ten thrones too. Uh, pausing the video, and I'll be back when he's done. Alright, he's almost done with uh, making all the chairs. Let's place them. Uh, this works nearly the same as the bed, like all buildings do basically. First I'm going to build some tables. Uh, this is down in the list here for table, which I'm just going to press T for table. And this room will be my dining room. Um, let's see, I'll build the tables over here in the middle. And you can see I have a lot of all my tables now. This is a nice little pattern. I have eight tables in the middle. And now with C, for C of chair or seat in this case, just remember C for chair, I'm going to build uh, seats next to the tables. Now, for uh, a dining room to actually work, you need tables and uh, a seat next to it. Uh, if you place a uh, place, place between the seat and the chair, the seat and the, the table, it won't work. So, build it like this. And now the dwarves are coming and actually installing all the tables. And actually, he's already starting to eat without the table. As you can see, these purple things, they are moving around. Uh, here he has one. Let me show it. I can't see he has it in his inventory. Uh, but the purple things, the purple three things, those are the purple helmets, and my dwarves eat those. And they're being farmed, and there's some damn more miasma. Um, yeah, let's talk about a bit about that too. Um, the problem is probably because I don't have a refuge yard yet. Refuse is like remains of rats and animals and stuff that's basically anything that can rot. Um, and the dwarves need a stockpile to, to haul it to. Uh, the best place to make a refuge yard, or uh, some stockpiles, then are for refuse, is outside. Because outside, miasma can be, can't be created because the, the wind will just blow all the, uh, the rotting fumes away, you could say. So now. The dwarves are actually moving this stuff outside. What's this? This is perch bones. Um, yeah, it's what's left of the, the perch I took with me. So yeah, that rotting stuff, uh, the rotting bones, what's left of the fish after it's eaten, was stinking up the food stockpiles. And the my little dining room is done here. Uh, like with the bed, you need actually need to create a room out of it. Uh, to do that. Press Q, go to any given bed, one of the middle ones, I'd say. Press R, uh, use plus and minus to uh, select the size, and then enter. Now, all beds and tables will be part of this dining room. Um, this will work now at the moment. But you can also make a meeting hall out of it. The, if there's parties and stuff like that, the dwarves will do it in this room. And it's all the only meeting hall I have at the moment, so. Let's make it a, a meeting hall, so poor dwarves will actually go there and uh, don't go wander off, off outside uh, and be killed. Well, the dwarves are eating nicely at the tables, and the cats are in the dining room, and stuff is growing. Things are going great. Um, let's also make add a few doors to make things look better. Uh, doors are the same as the tables and, the, and the thrones or the chairs. Make them from a mason's workshop. Taking ten doors to start fast, and I built two two mason's workshops, so I can add a lot of doors. I actually want twenty doors. You can basically never have enough doors. And doors will be created. And well, we're basically done with the uh, whatever the whatever. 
basic needs of your dwarves. <laughs> That's what I was thinking about. They can eat now, uh, they, they grow their own food, they can sleep, and they have a, uh, a dining table to eat off. And we're out of, I'm out of time. Next episode, we'll actually start doing some stuff like uh, brewing drinks. Okay, uh, out of time. So, see you guys later.